I started as a musician 13 years ago and I started as a rapper and uh, it turns out there wasn't a ton of money in Scottish rap, surprisingly. But I learned a lot in that time about production and I learned a lot about recording and rhythm and I connected with people and I collaborated with people. And the whole time I was rapping, I was also playing guitar and beginning to write songs. And my first sort of paid job as a musician was playing in bars. And in bars, I learned how to sing other people's songs because that's what people wanted. And I learned how to face a room full of people who don't care who you are and hopefully offer a night of some kind of value to them. And then uh, I joined a couple of bands and I toured and I learned how to be in bands. I learned how to tour. I learned how to sound check. I learned what a DI was. I learned what a jack to jack was. I learned uh, why having a nice pickup in your guitar was important. I learned why different microphones were important. And all that time I was learning more and more about recording. And I was gradually learning more about stagecraft though. That's something I would say which came to me a whole lot later. And then COVID hit. And I spent a couple of years raising my daughter and practicing songwriting. And the whole time that I was going through all these different processes, I was learning how to write songs and I'd never really promoted myself. I'd been lucky enough to find some people on the path who were keen to promote me a little bit. And I was promoting myself a little bit as in I was doing gigs and the odd radio session and whatnot. But then a couple of years ago, I hit 33. My daughter now is six, and I think just getting that little bit older, I started to realize that no one was coming to save me. And this is the number one mistake that musicians make. And probably the number one mistake that humans make on a broader level in terms of their psychology and their philosophy. People are expecting that one day they're gonna wake up and have the result that they want. And that was me for a long time. I thought one day someone's gonna come and knock on my door and ask to put my song in a film or one day one of my videos is gonna go viral on the internet or one day I'm gonna have someone get in touch and ask me to come on a tour. But effectively, just spending years and years and years of my life, all throughout my 20s, thinking that success was somewhere outside of me. And now I've grown to understand, actually, success in its physical form, if we're looking at in the physical realm and saying, as a musician, right? making money, having people come to your gigs, having people buy your merchandise and buy your songs, having radio stations play you. Now that's one kind of success and it's important because we want to make a living as musicians. We want to make money so that we can support our families and continue to engage in our craft. But that's only one aspect to success. And what I found was about two years ago, I started a journey of self-promotion and I realized I've created six albums and basically no one's heard them. You know, a lot of people in Scotland have heard them and I've been fortunate to have success here in the sense that I have a career in Scotland. But, you know, in comparison to the rest of the world and even Scotland at large out with the folk scene, nobody knows who I am. 
And that's changing now because I've started to promote myself consistently on the internet over and over and over and over again. But what I've learned from the experience of being consistently visible over two years, over and over again, and failing over and over again, and trying over and over again, has been that I've never felt more successful in my life than when I'm just putting myself in the arena constantly. Constantly getting over my thoughts about how I look or what age I am or what people want to listen to or whether my songs are the right kind of songs for a certain audience. And I've realized that there's been times in my life where actually I've been externally very successful, had the trappings of success within my life in the sense of uh, good amounts of money coming in and good opportunities on gigs, good opportunities on radio and TV. But actually I've been more unhappy than I've ever been in my life at those points in time. And, and the reason was because I didn't feel like I was actually controlling my own destiny. Now I do little village hall gigs and I help people make their music. And uh, that's a, it, it feels like way more success than when I was doing things which might externally appear like they were more successful. And that's because I've generated it with my own determination, with my own self-acceptance, with my own perseverance. And so I invite you to consider the concept of success differently. And I invite you to consider the concept of security and confidence differently in the sense that if someone gives it to you, it's a fragile thing because it means that someone can take it away. If someone gives it to you, then it can be taken away. If instead it's something that you generate, something that you work on, something that you are growing within yourself, then that's something that you'll have forever. The only possessions you really have are what you're growing, what you're working on. And so now I know I'm successful and actually I have more success than I've ever had in terms of social media and financially and reach and opportunity. But actually my, the, the realest version of my success is quite simply that I decided that there was enough value within me to shamelessly, tirelessly and relentlessly put myself in the arena promote myself and share my work so oh my god shut up Jesus so if you are an artist and you're full of your own ego as I was and still am to some extent but to the point where your ego is controlling you and not allowing you to share your art I really invite you to consider success differently. Success to me is being willing to be judged over and over again by people for everything about myself and, and to still love myself and still show up for myself. That's an amazing feeling to have people say horrible stuff about you on the internet and, and have people say great stuff about you on the internet and not make it mean something about you. That's success to me. To reach a point where you're willing and comfortable to share your art with the world fearlessly, that's success to me. I invite you to think about that. And if you're an artist and you're looking to grow, you're looking to overcome yourself, get over yourself, make a difference and contribute, then reach out, I'd love to help you. Thanks for listening.